Overcoming camera shyness. I speak to lots of business owners who are camera shy. And it's weird because in their own right, they're very competent, very confident people who have no trouble articulating their, their industry, their challenges that they solve, their products, their services. It's it's interesting. As soon as you hit go on a camera, they all block up, start humming and erring, filler words all over the place. What I would say is work with someone. So you can either go the route, you know, and, and I'm talking here to public speakers predominantly, so it's ironic, right? But even then, it's different to being on a stage. People do get camera shy. They get self-conscious speaking to a camera when there's nobody else in the room, for example. So I would always say, if that's you, then you probably want to work with somebody, a friend, a colleague, a partner, or, you know, I, I provide like, I provide journalists, to help my clients get through their um, initial videos where they you know, kind of ask them the right questions to make sure that the right sort of value is being driven from the conversation. Um, so I love that approach because it, it makes me scalable because I can use other people to do this. And journalists are very kind of, very well educated and trained in the art of getting information out of people and, and helping them reveal who they actually are, which is what you want to do. Um, so if you're camera shy, just work with somebody who can ask you questions, who can tell you things as you go. They don't need to appear on the final video. They can be edited out. They can even be in the same room. They could be on a phone whispering in your ear and you have them on a, a, a wireless headpiece. And there's all sorts of different ways of doing this. Um, but for me, camera shyness, um, you need to repeat and repeat and repeat until you're overcome that to an extent. You never get rid of it. I hate seeing myself on camera. I hate the sound of my voice but I know it works, so I carry on doing it regardless. You've got to keep that faith, the knowledge that it will drive results, and it does, but it's hard to start out, and I get it. You will get better over time. You'll get less shy over time. You will feel more confident doing it. Um, and if you are a public speaker that, that struggles with that camera shyness, reach out and let me know, because I think that's an interesting dynamic. Um, and I know people that, that have that problem you know, even though they, they get up on stage in front of hundreds of people, actually recording them on camera makes them really anxious and nervous. It's interesting.